Do you know what's a super note? You certainly will if you watch the latest popular series Farzi, where Shahid Kapoor's character, the artist, makes an unbeatable, undetectable fake note. It's so good that even the best machine can't figure out it's not the genuine thing. But fake notes aren't as easy to make or distribute as it seemed in the series. In fact, the government has so many security features in place that if you're astute, you can spot a forgery easily. So here's what you should watch out for in any currency note. The first is the security thread. On a real note, the security thread is incorporated throughout the currency, while on a fake one, it will look like it has been drawn or printed. The thread also has the inscription Bharat and RBI on it. The second thing is the watermark. The watermark will have the outline of Mahatma Gandhi's portrait along with the numeral of the currency. Counterfeiters use oil or grease to make the watermark, which makes it look thicker than usual of its slightly distorted lines. The next are bleed lines. These are angular lines on both sides of the note. There are four each for rupees 100 and rupees 200 notes, which also has two circles between the bleed lines. While there are five on a rupees 500 note and seven on a rupees 2000 note. Then we have something called intaglio printing. This is a raised or engraved print that can be felt by touch. While there are several such features on a note, including Gandhi's image and the seal of the Reserve Bank of India, the most notable are the Ashoka pillar emblem and the small triangle or circle over it with the numeral of the currency. Then you should particularly note is the ink and font size. There are numerals at the top left and bottom right of the note, which should be in ascending order from left to right with equal spacing between them. If there is any discrepancy in the alignment, size or gaps, it's a fake note. Also, the used ink used for printing shouldn't be smudged or broken. Next, you should note is the latent image. When you hold an authentic note up to the light at a certain angle, you should be able to see the reverse image of the currency number with the rupee symbol. This is also evident in what is called the see-through register. You can spot the denominational numeral on both sides of the note. A very obvious thing to note is that they should be the Devanagari and the regional languages. The number of the currency will be in Devanagari in a big size inside a circle and replicated in English in a smaller form and in white color at its border. On the reverse side of the note, the denomination will be spelled out in 15 different Indian languages. But what should you do if you find a fake note? If you get such a note at an ATM, show both the front and back side of it in front of the CCT camera and inform the security guard at the ATM. Take the receipt from the ATM of your transaction. Deposit the fake notes and the receipt at the bank, which will then ask you to fill a form and give you an original note in lieu of the fake note. According to RBI guidelines, banks have to refund the customers as early as possible if fake notes come out from an ATM. If you receive a counterfeit note during a personal transaction, you cannot do anything much unless you have hard proof that you have been duped. However, if you receive multiple fake notes, it is best to inform the closest issue office of the RBI or your nearest police station rather than trying to palm it off or hide it. This is because any attempt to circulate the counterfeit currency with the knowledge that it is fake is punishable under IPC Section 489C. And you can attract a fine or imprisonment ranging from seven years to life imprisonment or even both. Well, we also have an extra tip for you in this video because some of you may also have notes that have become soiled or mutilated. And you may want to exchange these for fresh usable currency. So here's how you can do this. Soil notes are those which have become dirty, slightly cut or are torn in two pieces. However, the cut in such notes should not be through the number panels. In case of notes worth rupees 20 or lower, you should have more than 50% of the note to get a full refund. 
for notes of rupees 50 and higher you need to have more than 80% for a full refund and between 40 to 80% one single undivided piece for half of the value of the note if you have more than 20 damaged notes or if the value of the notes is above rupees 5000 the bank will charge you a transaction fees now you have mutilated notes which are those in which essential pieces are missing these are the name of the issuing authority, the guarantee, promise clause, signature of the RBI governor, Ashoka pillar emblem, portrait of Mahatma Gandhi, watermark, etc. While so soil notes can be exchanged in full, mutilated ones are refunded according to RBI note refund rules. Any of these notes still can be exchanged at the couriers of any public sector bank branch a currency chess branch of a private sector bank or the issue office of the RBI without filling any form. Mutilated notes can also be exchanged through triple lock receptacle covers. You can get these from any issue office of the RBI. Put your notes in the cover with your details like name, address, denominations of notes deposited etc. and deposit it in the TLR box against a paper token. The RBI will calculate the admissible exchange value of the notes and then remit it via bank draft or money order. Mutilated notes can also be sent to any of the RBI offices by registered post. But there's one instance in which exchange is almost impossible. That's if your notes are badly burned or crumpled. This is because it's extremely difficult to figure out the denomination of the notes or the exact number of notes that you have been destroyed. So if you need to keep a large amount of cash at home, please invest in a fireproof, waterproof, ratproof and insectproof safe. We hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned to our channel for more tips on being a smart money user and investor. Have a great day.